Check, check. Um, should that be closer? Just get closer. It ain't gonna be perfect. Let's do this. That's how we film a thumbnail when we think of it in advance, which I never do. Welcome to a new episode of Create Your Own Truth. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. This episode is, I don't really know where I'm going to go with it, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to talk a bit about how I am rebranding. Hello to YouTube. Sorry, I forgot to say hi. Uh, <laughs> I'm just staring at my computer. But I just want to talk about another rebrand. Yes, I'm rebranding again, and that is okay. I have been feeling called to rebrand again. And if I feel like rebranding again 50 times before I die, I will do that. It's something I have learned with my business coach is that if you have a gut feeling or something is calling to you or you're feeling re your or you're feel or you're resonating with something, listen to that instinct and go for it. Because if you don't, you're never going to know what could have come about from it. So I am really listening to my instincts and my gut feelings lately, and I am feeling called to do another rebrand. And with this podcast, when I started it 18 episodes ago, um, that was a result of my last rebrand. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can see on the back of my laptop, that is my purpose written out for my last rebrand which I've read on here before because it is the basis of this whole podcast. And it says, my purpose is to positively impact as many people as possible to be their strongest inside and out and to create their own truth because we all deserve to live freely and authentically without fear of judgment or expectation. So I still firmly stand by that exact purpose, but I'm thinking of this rebrand as more of like an evolution of the last one. So we're just continuing down the path that we're supposed to go down. And that's why I feel like this is the right decision for me to own another rebrand, put it out there into the universe, put it out there on my content, my pages, and just own it. Because in reality, if I want to make the impact that I desire in this world, and to continue impacting people in a positive way, I need to own whatever I am feeling called to. So I need to stand firm in my values, my beliefs, what aligns with me and my coaching and my business and me as a person and just own it. So that is what I'm doing with this rebrand. I posted on it, I think last week on Instagram, I did a fun little reel, again, just showing up way more authentically and I know that we will change the world. Anyone who wants to come along for this ride and this journey, we will change the world. I promise you that. And something that I do pride myself on is that I have always tried to be transparent about my own personal journey. I feel like there is a lot of fear out there from people who are in my position as a coach and maybe they don't want to share when they are feeling unmotivated or they are overindulging or they are skipping the gym or they are feeling down, they're feeling in a funk. And I have always tried to own those things and just be totally transparent. Even before I started my online coaching business, you know, when I was an in-person personal trainer and maybe I was just having an off week, I tried to post on that, whether it was Back then it was just pictures, but I would post a picture of myself and I just tried to share where I'm at in my journey, where I'm at that week, how I'm feeling that day, because it is so important for other people to have someone that relates to them. Like I want to be relatable. I am human. Just because I'm a coach doesn't mean I don't have flaws. I don't have insecurities. 
I am not going around being perfect all the time. And if you have been following along with me for even a short amount of time, you should understand that I am just trying to be transparent about my own journey and how that in turn helps my clients and anyone who's just following along with my Instagram or my YouTube channel now. Um, so I just want to be open and honest because it doesn't benefit anybody if we are not showing up authentically, if we are lying about where we are at, if we are not being honest about our own efforts or whatever the situation is, it pays to be honest. So I hope that with my content that I put out there and just my experience that I share, that you find it relatable and helpful in your own journey. So I hope I am helping you in that regard. And along with sharing my journey open and honestly, I feel like I have always tried to promote healthy, balanced lifestyles instead of like aiming for an unattainable physique or unattainable body goals. Because first of all, that is just so unrealistic. What we see on social media is not real. Like I would say 99% of it is not real. So even if you see someone who is like a fitness junkie and they're always spending time in the gym and they have a body that looks damn near quote unquote perfect, um, chances are they are only showing the angles that show them as like a perfect physique or if that is actually their body, they may be doing things that are just unrealistic to sustain. And that is why we cannot go through life doing ridiculous things that are not sustainable. This is why I don't really believe in fitness challenges. Um, I have my own, but it is very sustainable. If you've done the Ignite Your Badass Re Challenge, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it is very sustainable because so many challenges out there, especially ones that I see on social media that are like very well known, I see what the requirements are, like the daily requirements, and like I am shocked. My jaw drops when I'm reading this unrealistic list of things that people who are participating in this challenge need to do every day. Like you guys, who freaking has the time? Nobody. So that is what I mean by we need to understand that what we're seeing on social media is not always true. And if we are comparing ourselves to those people who, first of all, their profession might be like working out. Like they might be a fitness influencer that is getting paid by Instagram, YouTube. They have sponsorships, they have partnerships, and they're getting paid like millions to go work out. That is not the average person. So first of all, that is already unrealistic to compare ourselves to people like that. But second of all, we truly don't know that what they are doing is actually sustainable and we don't know if they are actually sharing every part of their journey. So if we only see six, so if we only see six pack abs and they always look lean and toned, are they sharing that they're bloated once in a while? Are they sharing that they are feeling in a funk? Are they sharing that they are totally unmotivated and skipping the gym this week? So this is what I mean, like we cannot compare ourselves to things that are just unrealistic. And that is why I have always felt called to promote just more of a balanced lifestyle that is enjoyable, first of all, because if you're doing something that's making you miserable, just stop right now. But second of all, it needs to be balanced because it's just unrealistic to tell ourselves that we're going to do anything that is unrealistic for the long term. We might be motivated for a week. This is why people go gung-ho on their New Year's resolutions. I know I mention this all the time, but they go gung-ho and it is totally unrealistic and they get burnt out by January 7th. 
So it has to be sustainable and it has to be enjoyable. So I feel like I have always tried to share that. And something that I always talk about is rewiring the all or nothing mentality because it is that crucial to living the lives that we want to live and achieving the goals that we have. So with that being said, go for that balanced lifestyle rather than an unattainable physique that is going to actually make you miserable. Getting the body of your dreams does not mean you will be happy. And this is another reason why I highly suggest that you focus on your mindset because if you're only focused on fitness and physical health and physique, you are not going to be happy if and when you hit the body goals that you have. That's just the way it is. Getting your dream body does not make you happy. And the last thing I feel like I have tried to do with my business, my brand, my content is to make other people feel included no matter where they are at in their journey. I try to share tips that people who are brand new to fitness or feel like they're completely stuck in a rut or they just don't know where to begin. I try to share content and tips that is helpful to literally anyone. Something that I don't think I've ever done is asked someone for their weight. Like even clients of mine, if they are starting a program or they want to work with me and I'm trying to help them with their nutrition, the only time I would ask for their weight and I even have them guesstimate if they don't feel comfortable getting on the scale is if they want to actually track macros. So even if I'm coaching someone through nutrition changes, they do not need to give me their, their weight from the scale. I don't need to know that. I don't need them focusing on that because I'm really trying to get especially in the last couple of years, get people away from focusing on the number on the scale and even focusing on their bodies and focusing on how they feel instead. That is the number one thing. If we can focus on how we feel, that is a game changer. And often I've had to have this conversation. I've been a coach for whatever it is, eight years or something. I have had to have this conversation with so many people, whether it's a challenge I was running through the gym I was working at or clients who are getting down on themselves for not losing enough weight. I've even had people who are like, I've only lost 10 pounds in the challenge and it was eight weeks. I should have lost 20 pounds. And I stop them immediately and ask them to look back at the eight weeks and see how their life has changed, their habits, their daily life, their routines, how they prioritize themselves and ask them to instead flip the script and tell themselves what they are so proud of themselves for. And it's an immediate shift. They all of a sudden start to go, oh yeah, you're right. You know, I, yeah, you know what? I'm being too hard on myself. I did lose 10 pounds. That is absolutely amazing. I didn't gain weight. I didn't just maintain my weight. I lost, which was my goal. And I truly am proud of the way that I have operated in my life in the last eight weeks. And boom, perspective shift. So that is something I have really been working on the last couple of years is completely shifting away from focusing on our physical goals and instead shifting into more like self-love, mental health, inner growth. And then the physical results come from that work that you put in on yourself, your inner self. So again, this is why I always say on my page and my content that it cannot just be about forcing yourself to go to the gym and forcing yourself to eat healthy. I want you to take a second right now, stop and reflect. If you have been in this chronic pattern of telling yourself, I'm just going to stay motivated this time. I'm just going to force myself to stick to a gym schedule. Even if I have to get up at 5 a.m., work out before work, and I'm going to not have any cheat meals, like stop right now and reflect if you have done this. Uh, I'm going to raise my hand. I've been there. Believe me, I have gone through so many highs and lows in my own fitness journey. So let's get real and admit that we have all done that. But does that work? Hell to the no.
It never works. It never does. It never will. So this is why mindset is so freaking crucial. And I will always, always harp on that until people finally get it. Until I'm seeing that everyone out there on social media understands that it cannot just be about fitness and nutrition, I'm going to keep preaching this. So get used to this broken record. <laughs> so with all of that being said, I feel like I've been rambling for, yeah, 20 minutes. Uh, may edit some of this out <laughs> if it is repetitive, but I feel like I am proud of the image I've put out there, the brand, the messages I'm trying to spread, because truly I do want to make this world a better place. And that is why I am rebranding again. Every time I learn something and want to evolve, you better believe I will rebrand. So it is just an evolution of who I am as a coach and as a person and where I want to go as a business. So I hope you are along for this ride, but let's get into what this rebrand actually is all about and what I intend to do with it. And I will start off by saying, I don't really know exactly where I'm going to go with this, but I am working on gaining clarity. I do have one epic idea, not idea. It is already in the works. One epic thing I am working on, secret project. I know, don't we all love when people say it's a secret project? Um, I will try to share as soon as possible, but for now I'm just really honing in on it, keeping it on the DL, and I will share when I feel called to. But I truly want to make this world a better place. I want to make people feel included. I want to make people feel like they can relate to others. I want to make people feel like they are not alone on their journey. I want to make people feel freaking good, amazing, empowered. I want to help dismantle society's expectations of the human body that are so flipping ridiculous and impossible that it has created so much harm to people to like fatal. We like, I don't need to get into it, but it can be fatal. And that is so horrible so, so horrible. So if I can do even my little tiny part to make the world a better place and try to spread some positive messages out there, then I am going to do that. So I am proud of what I have put out there so far in this like 12 year journey of having my fitness Instagram I think I started it 12 years ago and have just shared my journey. And then obviously when I became a coach in 2014, I started making it more helpful information, hopefully. Um, and then obviously when I started my own business in 2020, that's when I launched into like full on, hey, this is my business. This is what I stand for. This is my brand still sharing my own personal journey, of course, but I am proud of the content and the impact that I have had, but it's time to take it further. We are going to go from here. I'm at my shoulder height. If you're not watching on YouTube to all the way up here, reaching towards the ceiling, I want to elevate and really challenge myself to step out on that ledge and change the name of the game. I love what I'm seeing on social media for people who are already doing this and it has impacted me to want to do the same just in my own unique way because we are all unique individuals and what we offer is completely unique. But I am ready to stand firm in my beliefs and own what I believe in. And by doing that, I truly think we can make a big difference in what society expects of us. Because like my purpose says on my laptop, we deserve to live freely and authentically without fear of judgment or expectation. Expectation is such a tricky thing. It is so damaging in personal life, society, whatever. Expectation is brutal. So if I can do my tiny little part 
and hopefully it's not so tiny. I'm hoping that what I put out there and how I coach people, how I show up on social media, I hope that it truly changes things. And I truly believe it will. I wholeheartedly believe in myself. I know that even like when I get messages from strangers I've never met telling me that I have created a positive impact in their life, that means I'm on the right track. And I'm not saying that to toot my own horn. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying when I get messages like that from people I don't even know, it reminds me that I am on the right path, especially when I'm having moments of self-doubt because self-doubt is so real. I have worked on the last year and a half with my coach on really moving through fear and I have done an amazing job. That is me tuning my own horn. I am so freaking proud of myself because the way I show up and what I do in my business and my life is no longer rooted in fear. Like I don't want to live in regret. So I move through fear. I acknowledge it. I let myself feel it, but I move forward imperfectly. So I am really proud of the way I move through fear and self doubt still creep up once in a while, believe me. But if I can continue moving through those self doubts and just push forward and share what I want to share with the world, I know I can make a positive impact on this generation, future generations, the world. We can do it together. We're going to do this together. We are in it for the long haul. And like I said, if I need 50 rebrands to get it right, I will do 50 rebrands. And that just sparks something. I know I will make mistakes. So please, if I am making any mistakes that offend anyone or are not inclusive, please let me know. I am always willing to learn. That is something I've been trying to do the last few years is unlearn and learn and just be okay with admitting when I'm wrong taking the feedback and then moving forward and having that as like a lesson for the future so that I know what to do next time. So if you are feeling called to reach out to me, if I have said anything wrong, done anything wrong, please reach out. I would love to chat. I am always willing to learn. Um, so don't hesitate, but yeah, that is a little bit on my rebrand. It is all about positivity, self-love, body positivity, inclusivity, and just taking the focus away from our physical bodies. Do I prioritize strength and is it one of the pillars of my business? Hell yes, and I fully own that. Strength is so empowering. That's why all of my programs are strength-based. And like I said, if you have been in one of my mindset programs or you are interested in them, just know there will always be a strength program attached to it. Yes, you will transform your mind, but you will also transform your body. So I completely own the strength aspect of my coaching. It is where we get our confidence. It's where we get our badassery. It's where we get our empowerment and it truly is amazing to prioritize strength. I forgot what I was saying. I think I was saying that, oh yes, I'm shifting the focus away from physical body goals, physique goals, because like I said, if you focus on self-love, if you focus on your mindset, inner growth, and just put the work in to become stronger physically and mentally, you will see the physical results that you want. And they will come with so much more ease than just focusing on trying to change your body because you don't like the way it looks. Doesn't it sound so much better to love yourself along the way practice self-love, practice gratitude for your amazing body and how it carries you through life instead of being on this journey to hit a certain weight loss goal and living in self-loathe the whole time that you're there. And that's what I mean by hitting your physique goals does not make you happy. If you are not practicing self-love on the journey to get there, believe me, you will not be happy or fulfilled when you hit that goal. 
even if you're proud that you did hit it, you're going to be still focusing on the negative and hit, waiting to hit that next one and that next one because you think it will bring you happiness. So we are focusing on self-love, body positivity, inclusivity. And like I said, I don't know exactly what this is going to look like. I am working on a secret project, like I said, but as far as content, I'm just going to challenge myself to share more self-love posts, body positivity posts, being real with my body. Does it look like everybody else's? No. Um, but we can all relate to certain mindsets that we have about our own bodies. So I'm just going to try to share more of that type of content. And when I figure out my next step, I will be sure to share it. But right now I'm just feeling out this rebrand and what I want to do to create an impact in my business, on social media, with my clients, and in the world. So with all that being said, I thought this was going to be a really short episode. I think it might be one of my longest ones. Uh, so if you're still here, thank you. Um, but if you are wanting to follow along with me, I am so, so grateful if we can be little accountability buddies together to create a more positive impact in this world. I would absolutely love that. And if you are looking to totally transform your life, starting with your mindset and of course strength, but starting with your mindset and really changing the way that you approach your daily life, then I highly suggest inquiring, always zero commitment, inquiring about my 12 week program, the next chapter evolution. This program is my baby. And just this week, I think yesterday or two days ago, I am feeling called, I had this kind of epiphany that I am feeling called to make this program into a six month container that is now going to be one-on-one -on -one coaching. And there's a couple of reasons why I'm going to expand it into a longer program and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Just the experience with the last couple of people um, who have joined the Next Chapter Evolution, they've done amazing, but I'm just feeling like I want even more time with each individual who joins this program to really solidify what they are learning and so they feel completely set up by the end of the six months to embark on their own journey after that. So of course they can always work with me after, but I'm just saying, I want everyone who does my programs to walk away feeling like I could do this for the rest of my life. And this program was completely invaluable and the investment is going to carry me through the rest of my life. So I am feeling called to expand it into a one-on-one -on -one container because I really want to start focusing on each individual person and what their specific goals and roadblocks are, what their limiting beliefs are, and dive even deeper. So that is why I'm feeling called to expand the program. My foot! Ah, shit. Oh my God. Okay. But that being said, it will take me some time to do that because even though the content will be the same, I stand by these 12 mindsets that I teach in the evolution. They are things that have transformed my life. Um, so I will not be changing those, but I do want to expand the program and create the deliverables to allow me to dive deeper with each individual person. So while I am expanding this and switching it up a bit, I am still offering the original version of the Next Chapter Evolution, the 12 week version. We still have plenty of coaching together. Um, it will just be a little less one-on-one, -on -one, um, but you can get it for the current price that it is at. So before the price doubles, if you want to literally transform your life, get in now. Um, I cannot guarantee 
how long the current price is going to hang around because I want to get this six month container going ASAP. So as soon as it is ready, the price is doubling. So contact me today when you're listening to this podcast. If you even just want information, like I said, it is zero commitment. I never force anyone into a program. I am not a salesy person. I am not going to try to convince you. That is not my job. I only want clients who are 100% ready to embark on this journey. I only want people who are seriously ready to create change in their life. And it is not what you're thinking. You're not going to change everything overnight. So if you're like, oh, I want to change, but I'm just not ready for that full commitment. Believe me, the evolution is for you. You will see exactly how you can change your life with ease. So if you do want to get in before the price goes up, I would be more than happy to hop into a quick phone call or a Zoom call with you and go over the details. And if it is totally aligning with where you're at in your journey right now, great. You can sign up and you will save half the money. If it is not where you're at right now, that's totally okay. You heard the details and we can always chat in the future when you are ready. Or if you are feeling like you do want more one-on-one help, then I would be more than happy to get you started with bonus weeks of coaching until the six month container is fully ready. That way, if you are like, nope, I don't even wanna wait another day, I want to start today. That actually happened with the last person who joined the evolution, it was right around the holidays. And I honestly just assumed people would wanna start after January 1st. And she's like, no, I need to start in mid-December. I need to get this going immediately because if I wait another day, I'm not gonna do it. And I am fed up with where I'm at and I need to make a change today. And I was like, hot damn, let's do it. So you are feeling like that right now and you want the in-depth coaching, the one-on-one coaching, reach out. We can definitely get you set up for the six month container and I will give you bonus weeks of coaching for free until the evolution six month container is fully set up. So, oh my God, I am rambling again. 40 minutes. Wow. Okay. So let's see how long this episode ends up being, (laughs) but thank you so much for coming along on this ride. I am excited to see where we go from here, how we change the world from here. Let's do it together. Let's keep each other accountable. Let's learn. Let's unlearn. And just remember, another great reminder of the name of this podcast, Create Your Own Truth, is that you can literally decide to change your life this very moment. You can decide who you want to be even if it goes against everything you have done in your life so far, you get to decide. No one can tell you otherwise. And if they try, don't let them. Oh, geez. I'm getting back onto last week's episode topic. So go listen to that episode. If you have not heard it yet, I am backtracking, but that is how important that topic is. But anyways, this rebrand is an evolution of my last one because I still claim everything from my last rebrand, but now I'm just evolving further. So yay, go me, go us. We're going to do it together and let's create our own truth. Thanks for watching.